have an area rug, is it the right size? And are you using it correctly? Well, Brian is back now to show us some of the mistakes you might be making, and people do make a lot of mistakes with your rugs. They do, and one of the things we were talking before we, we came on air is that most people, the rugs are too small. They're just too small. So really go big. Yes. So your sofa, if your sofa's against the wall like this, the carpet doesn't have to go all the way to the wall. The front legs just have to sit on it. Mm -hmm. But you don't want everything perched off of it. So you'd, it's best if the chairs can be on the rug. Yeah. Sofa can be slightly off. If there was another sofa here facing it, I would want that whole sofa on the rug. Got it. Um, so really go bigger. And when you're going to buy a carpet, uh, lay it out in your room. Measure it out with tape. Uh, and mark the tape on the floor, yeah. get the size, and there are standard sizes, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, also, if you're doing a carpet that has a pattern and a very pronounced medallion or anything like that, mm -hmm. that's where we sometimes want to use a table like this. Because you can see right through, you can see right through to the medallion. So we're going to show you a different way of doing it, and you'll see right away that you're missing some of the artwork on this Correct. space. Check this out. So there's a solid table, which is a beautiful setup. Mm -hmm. um, it's great to put your feet up on, things like that. But maybe you want to use that with a solid carpet or an overall pattern, not a medallion. Right. Um, so it's not wrong, yes. but why have this beautiful medallion in the center of the carpet if you're going to cover it? For sure. All the things that you might want to consider when you have a rug. We've got gorgeous pictures uh, of a space, and this is picture yes. number one. You can see this beautiful bedroom, and what's happening here? Well, here we did this very large carpet, almost the whole room, and maybe there's 12 inches around the room of wood showing, and we layered another carpet in the seating area. That defined where the sofa and the chairs are, but you really can only do that if the main carpet is very flat, mm -hmm. because if that carpet is thick and you put another carpet, it's gonna ripple and you could trip on it, and, and especially when furniture is on, it's gonna cave in there. That's right. So you want a very flat carpet and a very flat over carpet. Yeah, you don't wanna wake up and take a flying leap. No. That's that not a good a way little, to start the no, day. No. Okay, check out this space, and this is such a good idea. If you feel like you are not finding a rug that is big enough. Correct. Guess what? <laughs> so this is separate carpets all sewn together. Mm -hmm. And you can even tape them together with double-sided tape. This is great mm -hmm. for condominiums. So sometimes you have a big space mm -hmm. and you can't get in the elevator. Oh, that's true. So that's why that one was done, because that carpet okay. was about 20 by 20. It encompassed the living room and the dining area. Wow. So we, we sewed all those carpets together up in the suite. So we brought them up in the elevator, and you can just double stick them to the floor. You don't even have to sew them together. That is such a smart idea. Elevators are a major issue. If you're living yes. in a building, a major issue yes. for beds, king size beds. Um, take a look at this. I love this idea. you got a fireplace. Yes, and look at the carpet around it. It's cut around the hearth. Yeah. Yeah. So if we had taken it straight across, that fireplace and the hearth stick out so far into the room, mm -hmm. your, your sofa would be half on and half off. So we cut it around the hearth. You wouldn't do it to a carpet like this, but more solid carpets you would right. do. Right. So we're going to show you some of the different carpets that you might want to be dealing with. Yes. Um, what was beautiful about that is that it had a gorgeous trim and everything um, around the hearth, so it looked very intentional. Correct. So when if, if someone wants to do something, you know, really simple, simple pattern mm -hmm. or if you want to be budget oriented you can take broglum yeah. and just border it so the simplest way is this it's called um, a surged edge okay. where it's this tape that they just so want and when you go to your carpet showroom you'll see the samples just have a surged edge on it that's mm -hmm. how they finish it so if you want to buy a piece of broglum just have them surge the edge that is a really inexpensive way to get a great carpet and you can use beautiful pattern broglums this actually is indoor outdoor carpet oh that's this is so a polypropylene nice. it looks like size but you can do anything and you can spill on it. It's great. That's so beautiful. So that's, that's the surgeon. Then there's a bound edge, which mm -hmm. is this, where they take the same wool color. Nice. And they bind the edge of that. So that's a little more expensive, yeah. again, to do carpet. And then we have linen tapes. I like that. So you can do them in contrasting colors. You can do it in faux leather. Mm -hmm. You can do it in different materials. Again, a great way to make an area rug at a broadland. And a little bit more money then for that. A little more money for that. Okay. And some carpets even have coordinating borders that you can sew on. And then when you're, we're talking about rooms, a carpet like this or this is 
you know, great for dining rooms, great for any room. You can move uh, chairs along. So you don't yep. want to use a carpet like this in the dining room because it's just going to be challenging to move the chairs on. And then you want to use a flat carpet like this. Very simple if you're going to layer a pattern carpet on. Too, right. Also. also, your entire breakfast is going to be in that shag. Yeah, this is... Eggs, bacon, you're the whole find nine. That and earrings. You're going to find earrings, all the earrings you've all lost. All the backs of all your earrings. My sister used to do arts and crafts and we step on pins and things oh, all right. the time. It was, yes. We never... And we used to rake it. Yes. yes. <laughs> that was my job growing up. Exactly. To rake the carpet. I raked my way out of the living room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gorgeous, uh, beautiful samples here, and it's nice to know that Broadloom has come such a long way. Like, yes. you can be inexpensive, but do it custom, which is great. Yes. Uh, the samples are from Carpet Mill, and the furniture and the rugs are from LT and Gluckstein Home, all available at Hudson's Bay, so thank you for that, Brian.